The concepts of compliance and risk management are inextricably intertwined, and anyone working in either field has to be very thoughtful of the critical role of both. We spent some time discussing what compliance is, so now let's talk about risk. Organizations are constantly in their official risk management offices, but also every, in every other part of their operation, considering risk in some way. Let's look at financial risk. The failure to properly budget and forecast and report and manage the organization can cause real dollar losses. In public companies, this can affect profits and stock price, and in private companies, it can affect profits as well. The success of a company depends on the bottom line, and therefore our leaders and managers are regularly focusing on managing financial risk. Let's look at operational risks. If machines aren't reviewed for safety and functionality, if information isn't available, or if employee dissatisfaction leads to walkouts or poor performance, all of these and so many more examples can create a risk that the organization simply can't function properly. Let's look a little more closely at cybersecurity. If systems are down and there's no developed backup plan, that can lead to a company simply stopping functioning altogether until the problem is identified and rectified. Now let's look at reputational risks. These are the risks that can be the, the ones that corporate executives fear the most. A company may be able to handle a bad earnings quarter or a system being down for a few hours, but reputational risks can last a lot longer and can affect an organization in less tangible ways. If you have people saying, I remember them, they had a big data breach, or I remember them, they were named in a big discrimination lawsuit, or I remember them, their product was recalled for safety reasons. These kinds of impressions in the minds of the public can cause a company to seem less stable, less reliable, and diminish the confidence in them. This could affect consumers' interest in buying from them, or strategic partners willing to work with them, and even investors' willingness to invest with them. The power of the press, as you can see, can be a lot more impactful than financial and operational setbacks. And then there are compliance risks. An organization may focus on financial stability and operational soundness and invest in their brand properly, but risk all of that by not focusing on compliance risks. That's because a compliance risk can be the gateway that leads to not one, but all of these other problems. Noncompliance, as we've seen, can lead to financial penalties or to more burdensome operations under a strict settlement agreement or to lawsuits and damaging media coverage and, and so much more. A compliance professional's job is to champion this very idea and to make sure that personnel at all levels and all functions appreciate the significant role of compliance in the overall health of any organization.